Um, in this video, I'll give you a quick demo of an Ascentic AI based chatbot. It's a small application, but its uh, potential is very huge. Um, let's jump right into the content. Um, here I am in my Langflow window. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Langflow, it's an Ascentic AI framework where you can visualize and design all the flows and connections that AI agents trigger. Um, the starting point of this application is the chat input and uh, output, similar to what a standard chatbot would have. Um, next, I have created an agent called Finance Agent, which takes Croc uh, as a model provider. And we are using Llama 3.2 Vision Pro, uh, provided by Meta as a model. Um, in order to use that model, you have to create a Grok API key, which is pretty much straightforward. If you go to the Grok uh, UI page, um, there is a section called API keys where you can generate uh, some API keys and use that for free. Um, you guys can also use the OpenAI based uh, LLM models, but um, nowadays they have started charging some uh, so there is some cost associated with that but i think the uh, response from the open ai is much more reliable than the croc cloud but uh, just uh, for the simplicity i am using a croc cloud since i don't have to use my credit card to create those api keys so another piece of uh, the flow is the astra db um the Langflow actually provides the inbuilt vector database called AstraDB. Um, so first, uh, we need to initialize this AstraDB. Um, this is uh, hosted somewhere in the like AWS cloud for me. Uh, I think it's on the AWS US East region. Um, in order to use the database, we need some kind of data, right? So. Um, the source of this data can be either some API calls or some external um, external URL or even a file. So in my case, I have just uploaded a simple PDF file, split that data into the chunks and fed into the uh, this AstraDB database. Um, it's a pretty much straightforward. So, um, you can feed, feed multiple PDF files or multi, multiple uh, CSVs, um, if you like. Uh, but just for the simplicity uh, and just uh, taking in, into consideration the um, uh, the time limit, I have just uploaded one um, simple PDF file to uh, load the data. Uh, back into the flow, so the finance agent takes uh, the prompt uh, as an input. Uh, prior to that, prompt uh, takes uh, uh, like message, uh, chat input as a message. Uh, that is fed uh, as an input to the prompt. Um, and also the prompt takes the parse data coming from the AstraDB. So remember, we fed the data from the PDF in, into the AstraDB and uh, the parse data is going back to the prompt, you know. So basically you can, uh, just to conclude or summarize, so what happened here is from the uh, user input uh, has been fed to the prompt also the user the information related with the user input plus the vector data embeddings um, has been injected into the prompt uh, then uh, the output of the prompt goes to the finance agent and the output from the finance agent goes to the chat output where the user will see the data so Pretty much this is a very uh, basic Ascentic AI flow where yeah, you are using a database, vector database, uh, prompt, um, and an agent. So it's a very basic RAG uh, based application. If you guys are not familiar what is RAG, it's a retrieval augmented generation um, which uses the vector database and some embeddings uh, just to make uh, 
just to add some more clarity into the database and to give some more uh, useful information. Um, so this is this is kind of like a no code setup that uh, Langflow provides. So just imagine guys like la last year uh, or like two years back when like generative AI started, um, we didn't have this, we need to code all this application. Um, so I actually made one video like past year uh, just to search the PDF. So you can just check this Medium article if you want. Um, it did like a similar kind of thing that uh, which we are going to do today. Um, the database, uh, the data was splitted using the text splitter. We had some kind of like embeddings and for the document source, we uses, we used like a face uh, API. Um, then we used uh, OpenAI embeddings. Uh, Chroma DB was used uh, for the vector database. And this is how the search query was, or this uh, chatbot, which, uh, uh, which used like PDF file as an input uh, for the search was designed. Um, back to the Langflow. Uh, so you guys might, might be wondering how to uh, use this application or like how to consume this API. Um, luckily we have uh, in the API section, if you can see, we have like curl request, uh, which uses some kind of uh, payload. Uh, which uses the bearer token with appended with your application token. Um, also, you guys can also use Python API, uh, which personally I prefer this. Um, I have written a small piece of code actually to consume this API. Let's get uh, started uh, in the in the code side. Um, so there is a there is a API called finance as in which takes message as an input, um, um, and uh, we need Langflow ID and the application token. Um, you can generate this application token in the Langflow settings uh, phase uh, and inject this as an system variable. Um, we need to create a base URL. Uh, or the API URL, which uses the base uh, Langflow URL, um, and uh, just give the endpoint. In our case, finance is our endpoint. Um, so input and output of the payload will be that. Uh, we are passing authorization, bearer token, and the content type will be application slash session, some pretty standard uh, RESTful API call and um, very simple Python application with uh, uh, try catch error handling. Um, I do have so I do have the code to generate this uh, data and uh, send it to the UI. Uh, for that, we are using a simple tool called Streamlit. Um, so this piece of information is for the UI part where it takes that input, parse that data. Um, and send it back to the UI. Very uh, straightforward Python application, guys. Um, let's start this application and let's see what will happen. I am running a streamlit uh, command to run this application and it will open a window in the UI and you can ask uh, any question. By the way, I forgot to show you the PDF that was sent to the vector database. Um, so basically this is the PDF that we will uh, will be querying. Um, it's a NVIDIA 2024 third quarter um, results. Um, a very small file so that uh, it will not take time just for this demo purpose. Um, we can just ask uh, the chatbot like what is the revenue of NVIDIA? Uh, just uh, like a small straightforward question, you know. Um, this will take a little time, I guess, because, uh, oh, this is this was fast actually today. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the Croc Cloud, sometimes it's weird, guys. Uh, it's free, right? But uh, just for demo purpose, it's uh, good. But uh, for production, you I think the paid version will be much more uh, nice. So 18.12 billion is the revenue of NVIDIA. We can just check inside this PDF. Okay, 18.12 billion. Okay, look at this, guys. It just... 
uh, search this PDF file and it just generated the output. Um, you can just ask one more question like how much is the database uh, revenue or something like that. Okay, we can ask like what is the database revenue of NVIDIA. Submit. Um, let's see how long it will take okay 14.51 billion is okay 14.51 billion is so look at that we just parse the data coming from the output and we are uh, seeing that beautiful response in the ui all right i think that's it uh, for today uh if you guys want to see uh my previous articles on the generative ai uh, and to understand what rag is like what is uh, retrieval augmented generation you can go to this medium article um i think i do have another another uh article called uh, bedrock um all right i think it's not split here anyways it's fine you can just go to my uh medium page and you can just check some of the articles uh if you if you wish thank you everyone happy new year uh hope you guys keep learning uh have a good one bye